Hello. Let's have a look at the quick mask as a way of selecting. It uh, pretty much does what it says on the tin, that it is a quick way of selecting. Although the word mask is a little bit confusing, it kind of acts a bit like a mask, but isn't a mask in the traditional sense of, you know, it appears over on the layers thing and uh, masks out specific effects. Anyway, so let's look here. Well, way of setting it up is you go to select and edit selection as layer. I don't know why it calls it that, it's rather strange, but if you click on that you see here that everything goes red, which is the overlay, and this is the quick mask showing. Um, and a way of, another way of doing this by the way is this little thing at the top here, toggle quick mask, that turns it on and off, which is a lot easier than, than using that thing in the select menu. And even quicker than that is to use the queue, let, let, let a queue on and off, which is often easier still. So, um, how does this work? It works by painting. If I go to the paintbrush tool over here, and if I paint in white, then it makes a selection. It looks like it's sort of like poking a hole in the mask in the same way that, you know, you might be painting on a, an actual mask. Um, so if I turn Q off, there we go. See, it's, it's, it's got the selection there. There we go. It's masked off again. So this is a, a kind of useful way also of seeing what you have done. So if I turn that off and get rid of that, and say I use the selection tool here to select around here. There we go. Let's go around this area of sky here. That's just a little bit of tidying up over there. There we go. Looks like we've selected the sky quite well. So let's hit the Q and have a look at what we've done. If we go closer up here, we can see along here, very much at the kind of pixel level, it's not exact. Yeah, it's done its best, and around the bottom here, you can see a little bit of this po poking through. So a useful thing you can do, um, in, in normally, what, one of the things you can do is do a feather, so I could select and feather, but you see within Quick Mask, we can't see it. But what we can do with the Quick Mask, because it's kind of like a mask, is that if we go to Filters, and blur and Gaussian blur, we can blur the edges. So let's bring this one up here. There we go. So we can literally turn this so with no radius, we've got that hard edge which is produced by the selection brush. But if we turn it up a bit, which in terms of selection, it just makes the transition from one thing to another. If I was going to make this a bit darker, then it would, wouldn't seem such a harsh edge to it to be a lot look a lot more natural so I can apply that and there we've got a softer edge to things. We can also, if I think that's not quite enough in there, I can start painting with this. So I can get the paintbrush up again here, but this has got quite a hard edge, but I can adjust it with this. So I could turn that right down. Now I've got a softer edge on this. And if I make this smaller with left square bracket here and if I want to paint in, I change from white to black. And I can now paint down here and get it more accurate. It's a little bit more work to do this, but if you want to be accurate, sometimes you have to spend a little bit more time doing it. And I could use other ways of doing this, but by and large, this is a way of making this thing a little bit more easier. So. There you are, Quick Mask is a, a good way of doing things. One further thing that Quick Mask does that is not allowed in, uh, can't be done in other ways, is if we turn the Quick Mask off and I go to the Move tool up here, if I grab this and move, grab this and move this, hang on, it's on the background layer, so I'm going to turn off the padlock there, so I now grab this, I actually slice out and move around this piece here and it still stays in the same layer, it's not even putting on another layer. So let's put that back. But if for some reason I wanted to move the selection, if there was something else here, just showing you quickly, if I hit on Q and now I move this, it's moving the selection like a little window around. And I've turned Q off, now it's on there. So if I grab that, now it moves that bit around instead. 
So this is a way of not only looking at what I've actually selected and seeing the feathered bits as well, but also of moving the selection itself. Well, that's enough for now. Thanks for watching.